Josh Ranner became famous for his role as Ted Mosby in How I Met Your Mother, and since then, has become the favorite of many people. Last year, the actor appeared in The Hunters as Lonnie Flash, who has many similarities with Ted. Although Josh Ranner is one of the most famous names on television for the last decade, he always kept his personal life away from the headlines. Let us try to know him closely, as we bring you the 10 things which you probably didn't know about Josh Ranner. Welcome to The Ardent Blogger. A channel for all the curiosity lovers who want to know something different every day. Today, we are back with an amazing video. If you have not subscribed to the channel, you are missing out a lot. Number 1. Josh Ranner was born in a Jewish family in Ohio, and he was raised in a conservative Judaism. His mother is a high school guidance counselor, and his father is a medical malpractice lawyer. As he was growing up, Ranner attended the Orthodox Jewish Day School at Columbus Torah Academy. Josh decided that he would become an actor right when he was a teenager and started pursuing a degree in arts and drama and a master of fine arts. Number 2. The actor made his debut on Broadway in a stage version of The Graduate, where he shared the stage with Kathleen Turner and Alicia Silverstone. The theater seems to be a passion of the actor, who never want to leave the stage. He is always involved in the play's production unit. In 2018, he joined the cast of Little Shop of Horrors as Seymour Krelborn. Number 3. Josh Radner has a net worth of more than $30 million. His primary income is with acting, but he is also a musician, writer, and filmmaker. The actor directed and produced some award-winning independent films, and he also dedicated his time to theater. Unlike many other celebrities, Radner doesn't seem to have a lavish lifestyle, and the public hardly seems him on fancy travels or buying any expensive property. Number 4. Josh Ranner's most famous role up to today is the architect Ted Mosby, and many fans cannot see any other actor playing that character. However, the show business is full of stories about iconic roles, which were almost played by other actors, and How I Met Your Mother is no different. Scott Foley, Felicity's star, was the first choice of the producers, but he turned it down, which made it possible for Ranner to make an entry. Number 5. Even after becoming famous with How I Met Your Mother, Josh Ranner still lived in a $750 a month sublet from a friend. The actor told that he remained in that apartment for two seasons, while he was working in that popular show. Josh doesn't seem to be materialistic, and he don't mind spending money, if he believes in a specific thing. Otherwise he lives in his own small world. Number 6. It doesn't matter how much you love Ted Mosby, but you will probably hate having Josh Ranner as a neighbor. In 2017, the actor decided to build an extension of his deck, but it seems that it went on his neighbor's property. This initiated a war between them. The neighbors sued the actor, and they were allowed to put down the deck. This incident made the actor become offensive, and many a times he had yelled at them. Now the neighbors have a restraining order against the actor. Number 7. Acting is not the only talent that Josh Radner has. The actor is also part of a band, called Radner and Lee, where he plays together with Ben Lee. The duo has released two albums, named Be Like the Being, and Falling Upwards. In 2020, they released a new song, Simple Harmony. For fans who are interested in his music, you can find it online. Number 8. How I Met Your Mother fans might remember the blue horn that Ted Mosby stole and gave to Robin in the first episode. It also appears in a decisive scene in the final episode. Radner seems to love the meaning behind that instrument in the show, and he was later asked to keep it. It would be no surprise that it is not hanging in a wall at his home, just like in the show. Number 9. Josh Radner tries to have a low profile when it comes to her romantic life, and he keeps his relationships away from the headlines. His last public relationship was with the actress Minka Kelly, but they split after dating for a few months in 2017. After her, he didn't appear with anyone else in public. He also dated the actress, Lindsay Price for one year, and they broke up in 2009. Number 10. Doppelgangers were often part of the plot in How I Met Your Mother, and all characters had one at some point. Life imitates art, and Josh Ranner also had a famous person who looks exactly like him. In 2014, he made the headlines during the World Cup because he looked with Guillermo Ochoa, the Mexican goalkeeper. The actor took notice of it and tweeted about the incident. We are glad you have made till the end. We have handpicked the videos which we recommend you watch next.
Feel free to talk to us on our social media channels or on our website theardentblogger.com about any recommendations or suggestions.